My name is Bishop Kenya Michael Roltome, United States of Kenya Republic Presidential Aspirant, the Cup 2022, God willing. Allah. I'm here in Nairobi, uh, National Government, uh, Presidential Aspirant, uh, 2022, uh, election, God willing. Bishop Kenya Michael Roltome. So, I'm also a lecturer clergy. I've taught so many colleges in Kenya. African and Church Beset Bible College, Narok Federal State, the county government, uh, Covenant College of Mission International, the same place, Narok, uh, Narok Federal State, county government. I'm also a coaching student from various colleges, Presbyterian uh, University of East Africa here in Nairobi, national government. Students who are taking religious political philosophy uh, you know, context, uh, religious, political philosophy uh, studies, and also coaching, uh, you know, friends, theological college uh, student uh, online, who are taking, you know, uh, you know, uh, also degree level, uh, you know, theology. I'm an expert in both theologies, that is uh, systematic Christian theology, and also Islamic uh, studies, systematic theology. So we are going to see the word of God in light with the word of God found in the book of James, chapter 3, verse 1. All right? This book was written by the uh, brother of Jesus Christ called James. Uh, if you read Galatians 1, 19, you will see that it is true. It is, uh, it is stated clearly in Galatians, chapter 1, verse 19. Okay? He was actually the real brother of Jesus Christ. And... Uh, Christian used to say a half brother because they believe Jesus Christ has no father but only one uh, mother called Mary. Joseph Yusufu was not, uh, you know, Jesus' father according to Christian beliefs. Okay? And uh, the rest of other religions don't uh, actually take that because they don't regard, regard Jesus as deity as God. Judaism, Israel, don't uh, the sons of uh, uh, Abraham. Uh, Isaac, the son of Sarah, the wife of Abraham, of course. Another son of Abraham, also the same uh, man called Abraham, Ishmael, uh, the son of Agar. Both uh, sons of Abraham don't believe Jesus Christ died as God. No, they just say he's uh, just a mere human being. So it's only Christians who are believing Jesus Christ as God. The rest of the world religion don't do it at all. So this book was written uh, after Jesus Christ left 40 years AD, we call it Anno Dominion. So it was actually the first century of the New Testament written books. That is what is actually there. And uh, this man called James wrote actually because of the people hypocrisy of that time and they have been with all evil tongues uh, out of, their tongues are, are out of control. And they are playing favorites with the rich or, uh, or uh, to those people who are rich and wealthy, boasting about their plans of tomorrows. They don't know what will happen tomorrow. They just say, we will do this and that and that. So what we are going to uh, actually, uh, this man was hard hitting, was those specific practical instruction things of boasting, as well as, you know, vaporisms, as well as, uh, you know, poor judgments. So the studies we are, the, the topic we are going to read actually to have here is actually a slight, sliding scale of judgment. To slide something is actually you go to another degree angle, which is not right, from 90 degrees, you know, angle. So what we are going to read in James chapter 3, verse 1, is actually a sliding scale of judgment for those people in, in position of authority. And we are going to read. My brothers, not many of you should presume to be teachers. My brothers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. That's what the Bible says. Chapter 3, James chapter 3, verse 1. Not many of you should presume to be teachers. My brothers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. I said I'm a professor in theology, lecturer at Bishop Kenya Michael Otome. 
United States of Kenya Republic presidential aspirant come to the show for good. I am a teacher in theology. And then, you know, anybody who is instructing somebody or a leader is a teacher. Our president is our teacher. Our MPs are teachers of Kenya Republic. I call them governors. All these six elected position people. We expect them to be our teachers, our instructors, to show us the way, go the way, and they, we assume that they know the way. That's, that's what that, all, all leadership means. I am a teacher, a lecturer, a clergy professor, Michael Tome, systematic theology lecturer and Islamic studies, systematic theology. The Bible says, I will be judged more strictly than my students, the one I've taught. I've taught all many bishops, pastors, reverends, name them. I've told, actually told many of them on those colleges. Okay? And I'm still actually a part-time lecturer online. And I'm also the founder of International Church International online. If you want to have, have some questions on those books, the Holy Quran and the Holy Bible, feel free to contact me. These are sacred books widely, widely read all over the world, and they are godly books, sacred books. The best known sacred books in the world are the Holy Bible, the one I'm holding now here. And the Holy Quran. So, any teacher, any leader in that case also, is a teacher. You know? I say that to our president, who His Excellency Uru Mege Kenyatta, is our instructor, is our teacher. He is what? He is showing us the way Kenya. Okay? It is leadership. Okay? We assume that he knows the way. We assume that he goes the way. Okay? Because he knows the way. Okay? You must show people the way. Because you know the way, and also go the way the same way. You cannot show people to go through the way, the, the door, and then you go through the window yourself. Any, 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 any leader, be it a governor in Kenya who are elected, be it a you know member of parliament, be it senators, members of parliament, be it women representing uh, 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 you know leaders, uh, members of parliament, be it the MCS members of you know call them uh, uh, members of county assemblies or members of member of parliament. All these elected posts, six of them, and the plus nominated, plus other public servants, plus other, you know, they are our teachers. We assume these people know the way, will show us the right way, and also they go the right way. Otherwise, there is a sliding scale of judgment for these people. The Bible says those people with uh, greater responsibilities, will have more to answer than any other ordinary human beings in that verse. Okay? God will judge you, and also the, the law of the land will judge you strictly. Okay? That's why now, you know, in Kenya now, what's going on is what you call Building Bridges Initiative, which is Building Bridges of Ignorance. Cases going on, and all other, you know, annual development has stopped. Why? People are saying the president have, have messed up, by signing a very fake document of that nature, which is true, of course, yes, by those, uh, you know, seven judges, plus three others. That's a fake document, surely. I've even myself shown you, and I've read it. And if it was just a military people carrying a fake paper, the uh, form, fill this form, and they see the attached, and there was no attached. So this people have lured even the president, uh, by, by signing that document. Also, chief of the leader was the one who has lured the president more to sign that document. And it was a very fair document, obviously. Building bridges of initiative, whatever. Uh, they call it the uh, you know, report. Fourteen member group of people, leaders, have spent actually 10 million, and more money are still used, taxpayers' money. Over that very thing. What we want to say, there's a sliding scale of judgment in that case. The president now is risking your impeachment. That's why he has also run to the, uh, the court of appeal himself. That's also run, has run to the court of appeal. Because now, that is a fake document, and already the prisoners appended a signature, which is against the Kenya Constitution 2010, okay? Chapter 6, okay? Constitution number 145, okay? It is against the law of, uh, you know, office. Therefore, the prisoner has taken, on 26 10, 2017, holding the Bible, a red Bible, that I will defend this in the Constitution, 2010 Constitution, the supreme power of Kenyan public people. 
That is why now the Bible says those people with the greater responsibility will have more to answer more than others, like me now, an ordinary person, as I speak now. I'm only I actually a uh, presidential aspirant come 2022, but I'm still now an ordinary citizen. I have nothing to answer on such kind of whatever. But now the president is actually a problem. And also the chief of the leader, Raila Odinga, likewise. Plus all those 14 members, that's us. Which of course they are confused. They are confused so much until even the chairman, a spiritual leader, called you know the left. Haji Yusuf Haji, which is an equivalent title in Muslim, you know, like a, a bishop, was confused to death until the man collapsed and passed away. And his son now was actually given a sympathy vote to be uh, a senator of Wajia and also uh, without being uh, without any opposition. No, it was unopposed. What do I want to say? Those leaders in position of authority, there's a sliding scale of judgment, and your sin will find you out. And the law is normally gives light or life or death. That's the, what the law says. Okay? In first in actually first John three four. The actually those the law is actually what the system. It is that clearly sin is actually what? It is actually breaking the law, is sin in, or missing the mark. Lawlessness is sin. Once you have done sin, what follows is death. It can even be a, a physical death, obvious, and spiritual death, and social death as well. What do I want to say? Those people in position of authority will be accountable for the way they have used, they, they normally use their influence. If you are using your, your position of authority wrongly, you will be actually facing the law. And the law is there to give life or death. Roman 3, 23, 6, 23. Roman 6, 23. The wages of sin is death. Okay? You cannot actually escape actually death even if you break the law. No matter who you are. There are many prisoners who have been assassinated, killed. Not assassinated, but actually, first the capital punishment, they are dead. One of them, well known, is actually a very powerful leader called, uh, you know, Saddam Hussein. The left is actually Saddam Hussein of Iran. The man who have actually just toppled another country called Kuwait within two days. Okay? The whole country is gone. But the American in the VR, in, uh, in, in the bin, actually, not in the bin, but in the bin to save those, that country leadership. Okay? And many other nations, but particularly actually Americans are the ones who have saved the Kuwait. Otherwise, they would have been left out of the map of, of the whole world. And the Arabs, like Iraq people. What do I want to say? Those people in position of authority will be held accountable for their, their own position of authority influence. And if they have done wrong, they will be executed. Okay? Even a sickle, that's a three, six, and nine. Any sentry who is allowing people to be killed by not actually warning them or assisting them in position of authority is there actually to be killed. Because the Bible says in Genesis 9, 6, you cannot shed a human being blood and yours also remain not shed. What do I want to say here? One leader with uh, actually wrong kind of leadership, okay, can actually cause a mess. That's why Kenyans, we have so many people who died in 2017, 2007 to 8 and 2017 election. More than any other election we have held since the first one, which of course, since we got independent, 12 of 12, 1963. There's no other election which has claimed more lives than those three types of elections. Four of them because 2017 was repeated twice. 2017, two. It was repeated twice on 8 8 2017, 26 10 2017, and 2007 2007. Okay, 2007. Okay, and 2008 2008 election, 2008 elections have claimed so many lives. So actually, any 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 leader using his own position of influence wrongly will cause a mess to himself and cause actually a mess to the country. Uh, what do I want to say? I want us just to appeal to the head of states. 
to listen to the you know God servant actually our judges which are very right nowadays they are very wise people and actually if they have said what they have done is actually uh, wrong he has a right to revoke it huh? he's a human being and even Roman 3 23 he says the way we are all sinners and we have fallen short of God's glory people can lure us to do something wrong you know a human being can be cheated in many ways, especially if you have so wrong, uh, you know, you know, uh, uh, friends. In Proverbs 17, 17, they will mislead people. Okay? Remember me also, I was also President Moi uh, pastor. I said several times. Here is African and Church, Kabartoncho, African and Church built by President Moi. Moi Church. There you can see Moi. Okay? Here I am preaching near myself. 207, 202 to 2, 2000 to 202, 2000 to 202, until Moi terms expires. So I've learned a lot of being actually the president uh, uh, person who is there to give spiritual, uh, uh, you know, guidance. Here is actually in this photo. This is the sister of Moi here with the blue uh, dress. She's called. Her Excellency uh, Rebecca Shelimo. Rebecca Shelimo. Rebecca Sote Shelimo. And actually, the wife of the late Shelimo, James Shelimo. His Excellency James Shelimo. Real sister. And uh, His Excellency the late James Shelimo was the real, you know, in law of President. His Excellency Moy, Arab Moy, Daniel Arab Moy. So this is the church I was serving. On top here is actually a media house. Here, this is a media house. Uh, there is another time actually I was actually uh, disturbed by the, so many leaders there, spiritual leaders particularly, and uh, I became so angry sometimes. Uh, as uh, and I, I, uh, there was I refused even to pray. Two thousand. Uh, in presidential function and uh, I said give another person because God cannot hear me I was so angry these people have uh, you know some pastors and also reverends one of them called Reverend Chiri Chiri uh, he was disturbing me so much yeah, why, how do, why is uh, some guru Masai leading us here in Baringo being the pastor of Moi here so I was disturbed so much because the president loved me and the entire two games, the church uh, fraternity members loved me. So I was actually disturbed. And also the president has promised me so many things. He has told even, uh, you know, Kanu, uh, Kenya African National Union uh, chairman, uh, you know, uh, 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 Honorable uh, Paul Kotut, the chairman of Kanu, Baringo, uh, you know, county government, to give me a land. And because I was angry, I refused. He also, I was also told uh, I will be given a vehicle. I told actually those people about the, the president that I, I don't know how to drive. And I was actually offered a chance to be, you know, uh, to, to, to learn how to drive. Here is my license, 2000. It's still very, very intact. So I took driving uh, because the president wanted to give me a, a vehicle. Here it is. You can see I've kept this document for that uh, all that uh, place that long. You can see it here. You can see it is here. Okay, see it very clearly. It is actually I was given. Uh, I was actually uh, I was given this. Uh, I was taking my training in Nakuru, but here you can see now Kabartoja. I was in Kabartoja. After I completed, actually, uh, you know, I'm given this. Uh, you know, uh, I, I completed my. Uh, you know, my cause of driving. Because of that uh, kind of fracas, I refused even to wait for the vehicle to be sent to me. I went to Marsabet, and uh, that is actually how it happened that way. This church also was striked by lightning on, the, on 20, 2000, 2000, and uh, it was December 17. So, uh, that's the way the Lord has actually showed himself to save me also. 
and I was allowed to go to Marsabel uh, shortly, and I went later on to uh, Narok to teach Narok Bible College, and those colleges I've mentioned already. So that is me. I refused to that Fioko to wait that the president was to give me, and you can see the lessons here. Uh, and uh, it's very successful. It's very, you know, this lessons is very, very new. Still, I've kept this document. You know, here it is written, Kabartoje, you will see it. Okay? Uh, the box I'm using is the church box. Kabartoje box. Uh, here it is. Okay? So you can see. So what do I want to say? And I refuse also the land to be given the land. So remember me, 2022, as you are fifth president. Because uh, I said separately that uh, I have uh, formulated a government of uh, the right government. I am there as the, the president, uh, fifth president, if I will be elected 2022, with my, you know, vice president, uh, Adan, uh, His Excellency Adan Barre Duale, and co prime minister will be His Excellency Urumege Kenyatta with the two prime ministers of his own choice, and 2032 vision or earlier, about uh, 60 months, because I will serve one term, will be the United States of, uh, you know, America, great nation on earth, president, retired. Uh, Barack Hussein Obama, the son of uh, Iluo, uh, you know, ethnic group. And I'm a Maasai ethnic group myself. Uh, Barre, Adan Barre, Excellency. Uh, Duale Barre is actually a Somali ethnic group. And uh, Uru Kenyatta is actually Kikuyu ethnic group. So remember me, children, as your 50 president. God bless you all. Amen.